So I'm gonna get started on this. Um, if you're brand new, welcome to the Team Power Hour. We haven't done one of these in a couple of weeks, but I want to show everybody how I do my power hours. Um, these are something that I learned from Upline, you know, forever ago when I first, first started. And it is a way to get a lot of work in within a small amount of time. And so these are for those girls who work crazy hours every day. Um, for these moms who have kids that are constantly, you know, around them, like going crazy or whatever, these power hours are seriously life because you can get so much done in such little time without having to stress out about, okay, well, I didn't get this today or I didn't get this today. And just, um, scheduling your power hours based on your business's needs. So, um, if you're like, going for a big promotion and you know you need volume, do it, you can do a straight power hour of just following up. Um, same with like, if you know that you need host to post out, you can do a straight hour of just host to post and self-discipline, um, use that. And, and you can do, you know, half an hour or an hour or whatever can fit into your time, okay? Um, but we all can make time for half an hour to an hour every single day, um, hands down you know, before you go to, to sleep at night or when you wake up in the morning. And so we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to go through the tasks. Um, if you want to go ahead, take out a piece of paper and write down these tasks on what I'm doing. And I'm going to describe exactly what I'm doing. Um, every time I'm also going to read the messages that I'm sending out loud for those of you who are watching on YouTube. Um, you'll be able to see exactly what it is. Other people, I'm going to put it in the group chat and then I'm going to put it in our um, team group chat um, just so that you have that for future reference. So you have these messages. Um, they are, there is a couple of newer messages that I haven't put out there yet, but I have been using them myself and they're actually working really, really good. So um, that's going to be great to have some new uh, message material. And then um, as far as everything else, we're just going to go for it and I'm just going to explain kind of as I'm going. Like I said, if you have any questions, be sure to put it in the chat um, in, in Zoom and I, I'm keeping a lookout for it right here as we speak. So um, the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to go onto Facebook and we're going to go on an adding spree. Um, typically, I do my adding sprees at night when I go to bed, but that's how my schedule works. So um, how I'm going to do it today, and there's a a couple different ways that I do it. There was one main way that I was doing it for a while, but I just started this way the other day um, because I heard from another upline leader that she does it this way. Um, and I actually started using it and it works really, really well. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna go to your friends list on Facebook, okay? And then once you go to your friends list on Facebook, you're gonna click on um, a random person, but you want to find someone who has one, like one to five mutual friends with you and has a lot of friends. So I'm looking at like someone on my Facebook page. Um, she has 1500 friends and we only have three mutual friends and she's from Alabama cause that's where I expand to. So, um, I'm going to click on her and I'm not going to message her or anything. I'm literally just going to go to her friends and I'm going to click see all friends. So if you're looking, I'm literally looking at all of her friends right now. Okay. So after I look at all of her friends, I'm looking for someone else who I have, who has, I would say at least a thousand friends. Um, and they have either Zero, uh, like anywhere from one to five mutual friends or zero to, to five mutual friends. So I'm gonna look for that. Okay, so I found this girl, it's pretty close. So um, if you're looking, she's, I'm, I'm looking at her friends list. So I found someone new on that friends list. Um, and she has 982 friends. That's close enough for me. She's only got, um, two mutual friends. So I'm going to click on her Facebook now. Um, if you wanted to keep going with this and click on another friend and find another friend who has barely any mutual friends, you can go on like that. 
Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to start adding all the people on her Facebook that I would want to work with. That's how I look for people um, is people who maybe they have a picture of them and their kid in their Facebook profile because I can relate to them at that point. Um, I find a lot of women who are like maybe a, around my, my group, like my age range um, or like the age range that I like to work with. I prefer to work with pretty much any, but like I can work with anybody. Um, but if I'm looking for someone who's like around my age or a little bit older than me, then that's what I'll specifically look, look for. Um, say they have a picture and they're fishing, you know, I'm going to add them. Um, if they are in a picture and they're, um, on a four wheeler or they're, you know, driving their truck or they're hanging out with their man or something like that, I'm going to add them on Facebook because those are all things that I have in common with them. Um, so as soon as you find that, can you guys just write in the chat that you have found your person just put done and that way I can start the timer and we're going to go on an adding spree together. And if you don't know how to put it in the chat, if you go, if you're on a cell phone, you literally just go down to the bottom and I'm pretty sure you can click, um, is it invite? I think I'm not on my phone right now. I think it says invite. And then the chat's right there. Um, and then if you're on a computer, then you're just going to click the chat and it's right there on the right hand side or should be on the right hand side. Where did you say it was on the phone, the cell phone, Chelsea? I think it's at the bottom. If you click on your face or whoever's face you're looking at and just go down to the bottom and click, I believe, invite. Maybe. There should be two different options. If you click on one, then chat shows up. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the timer um, and I'm going to set it for 10 minutes and we're just going to go on an adding spree for 10 minutes. So this is one of the things that I do every single day. Usually I do my power hours for just adding at night before I go to bed. Um, I usually do about, I would say like 15 to 30 minutes of just straight adding people. Um, but if you only have an hour to work, this is the way to go. You go 10 minutes of just straight adding. And I don't really look, um, like, I don't really go to their page because what I do is I just add as many people as I can um, until I max out. A lot of the times you'll get that message eventually that will say, um, you've added a, a thousand friends. And then at that point, um, it won't let you add anymore, really. You're going to get a lot of messages also saying, please add people that you know. That's not, I don't believe that so much as um, anything that has to do with what you're doing. I think it has to do with like the settings that that person has on their Facebook. Um, that only like friends of friends can actually add them. Um, so I don't really look. I literally just go down and you'll see. This is like the list, okay? I don't know if it doesn't speak or for a minute so you can see. Oh, I don't know why it's not showing me. Okay, anyways, this is speaker, um, not speaker view. <laughs> this is like what I'm going through right now. And you can see like, this is just someone's friends list. And I'm just going down and I'm clicking add, add. This girl has, you know, a picture of her and her son. This girl has a picture. She looks like she's around my age. Um, this girl, she's pregnant. You can see, 
Um, like just anybody who I think this is like the only time that I would ever tell you to judge a book by its cover. So, um, I just look and I, I add and add and add, um, especially if they're smiling, if someone's smiling in their Facebook, that's when I add them. If someone is like on their Facebook profile and they're like flipping the camera off or they are, um, got this frowny face on, or they don't have a picture of themselves and it's like a picture of their kids, I won't add them because you just never know if it's a fake profile and you want to make sure you're adding real people um, and people who are positive too. And if they're smiling in their picture, um, they're photogenic. That's someone I want to work with. Um, but not only that, like a smile is what a sign of happiness. So doing something like that um, gives you a higher chance that they're actually positive. You might get some people too who will write you back. Um, I've gotten this a lot lately with my newer girls um, who will write you back and say, hey, do I know you or something like that. Everybody has different ways of going about doing that. Um, what I personally do is I either message them and I say, um, hey, I just saw you and my friends I may know. Um, if you've got mutual friends, great. You can mention that and then say you looked friendly. So I figured, why not add you? Um, and then if they put up a stink about it with you, cause some people do, you're going to get that. Um, you're just going to delete the, the friend request or block them or whatever you have to do, um, in order to not have to really like deal with being, with being yelled at over Facebook, I guess. <laughs> Um, however, some people just ignore it. Um, I know I, I've talked to a couple of leaders who say if someone, you know, is asking how we know each other and they're already being, you know, skeptical, then they're just going to continue on being that way. So they don't even, they don't even write back at all. So it's totally up to you what works best for you. This job is all trial and error. And you're going to notice that, um, there's going to be certain things that are going to work for you that aren't going to work for other people and vice versa. This is what it looks like when you max out your friend request, okay? It's gonna give you this little message and it's gonna say that you've sent out a thousand friend requests that are not accepted yet. 
and then boom, there you go. If you get this too many times, like sometimes I can go ahead and like go back to the, the same exact thing I was doing and I can keep on adding, but I can only add like 10 people um, fast before it says the same exact thing again. And so I do that a couple times and then I'm like, okay, if I can only get like two, see like that one, it came up again. Um, so I got two that had said, you've sent a thousand friend requests that people haven't responded to yet. So what I do from there on, um, if you're like brand new and you are on an adding spree, um, you're trying to get your, your followers up, you're trying to make it so that you have a lot more people to talk to, what I do is I wait a day or two and then I delete all of my sent friend requests on Facebook and then I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll restart my adding spree because as you're adding, if you're going for that thousand, um, you're going to notice that, that you can add a lot more if you start from zero, like zero friend requests. We have one minute and 45 minutes, uh, 45 seconds left. Just so you guys know. All right, there's a timer. So that's what I do every single time I'm doing just a straight hour. I'm just going to do like 10 minutes of adding. Um, and once I'm done that, I go ahead and go post. How many of you guys have posted in like the last hour? Okay, so if you have not posted within the last hour, um, you want to go ahead and go post in your post. Usually at night, um, I post something that's like inspirational or I post something about, um, my business, like telling a story almost. Um, or I post something that is like, you know, just inspirational or, um, something funny sometimes because I want to show my personality on Facebook. That's all about attraction marketing. And, um, when you post like that at night, in the morning, um, you should have quite a bit of like comments and likes on that if you're posting the right way throughout the day. Um, and then what I like to do is I like to go send messages in the morning and say, hey, I saw that you liked my post last night. Have you ever thought about doing what I do? Wicked simple, but because you, you took two seconds to show who you are or talk about something that's important to you, um, you'll get a lot more likes and comments on your post just by doing that. And that's all about attraction marketing. If you don't know what that is, be sure to go look it up on YouTube. Um, it's, it's pretty awesome and it's a good way to build your business with posting like that. Um, so I'd go and post and then after that, um, we should go, let's go update our story really quick. Let's go find, um, 
Who here has Pinterest? I can't really see everybody because everybody's camera shut off, but who here has Pinterest? Or even knows how to work Google? Okay, so this is what I'm doing tonight. You guys can feel free to do this if you want to. Um, I'm gonna go and look up like three to five things on Pinterest that I really, really want in my future. And I'm gonna take screenshots of it, I'm gonna post it on my story, and I'm gonna say like hashtag goals, or this is what I work so hard for every day. Because that's gonna show people your vision and where you're headed. And who knows, you might have someone who's gonna look at your story tonight and say, hey, she's you know got goals and she's very like she's got goals that are similar to mine why can't i get those goals too And usually when I'm posting my story and stuff like that, I don't take as much time doing that than I do messaging. Most of my power hour is spent in Messenger. Um, but I do take the time to do like the little things. Um, and I don't, I don't take much time to do it. But I do just really, really simple stuff. I don't overthink it. You're going to hear my, my camera screenshotting. what I like to do when I update my story, um, I go to actually Instagram and this is how I do it. Okay. So you're going to see that I have my Instagram up. And if you look at my picture right here, I'm literally going to click it and I'm going to hold it down. Oh, and once I hold it down, it's going to say underneath here, add story. I'm going to click that and I'm just going to take one of the pictures that I literally just took. And on the first picture, I'm gonna put hashtag goals. And you guys can go check out my story if you wanna see this, if you're on this Zoom. And what I like to do is I'll show you the next one so you guys can see. So I've got this picture. Let me see. Okay, so if you look down here, when you're doing your story, you can see, I don't know if you guys can see this, but this little button right here, it says add to Instagram and add to Facebook. So I go ahead and I add to both, all right? So then if I go and click again, and I just do that for the three different pictures,
Okay, and I'm just clicking it again one more time on my story, all right? So you shouldn't take that long to do that. Um, if you know what your goals are, you should have them written down somewhere. You should know exactly what you're working for every single day. Um, so it should be very, very simple for you to find those goals and, um, you know, be able to post a picture of them or um, even just posting a picture of yourself is totally okay and saying this is what I'm working for, A, B, and C. Um, or, you know, something along those lines, that's what I... I do sometimes on my story, um, just to show people my vision. Um, and so I always end with something positive at night so that it rolls over into the next day as well. So the very next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hop on our messenger. So I've got a couple of brand new messages and then one message that I use literally almost every single time. I'm sure most of you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, but we're gonna start on our friends list. So we're going to go to our Facebook friends. Um, I like to alphabetically message. It is like the simplest way to do everything for me. So I started earlier during the day. Okay. So you see here, I have a screenshot and I do this every single time. Okay. If I go on a messaging spree on my friends list and I'm alphabetically messaging, I will screenshot where I left off and I'll leave that on my phone as the last picture so I know exactly where to start off the next time that I alphabetically message, okay? Um, sometimes you might have to put it in your notes if you take a lot of pictures. Um, some days I take a lot of pictures. If I do a power hour in the morning and I'm sending messages alphabetically, I'll take a screenshot and I'll put it right in my, my um, notes on my phone so that I can see where I left off, okay? So I started, I left off in my C's today. So I'm gonna go find that person. Um, I'm literally gonna go to my friends list. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but I'm gonna go to my friends list. I know I, I ended up in my C's, so I'm gonna click C and I'm gonna scroll down until I find the girl that I had ended up in at. Um, and then, and if you haven't done alphabetically messaging, you totally should. It's amazing. It is like one of the most awesome ways to get your host to post out, to get potential distributors, and to get potential loyal customers all at the same exact time. You can get a lot of messages in within a short period of time, especially if you have text replacement. If you don't have text replacement or you don't know what that is, you need to make sure you look it up for your phone. You can look on YouTube and just type in text replacement for Android or text replacement for iPhone. Take a couple of minutes, become resourceful, and watch a video on it. Um, once you learn how to do it, you'll know exactly why I say that I can get a lot of messages out within a very, very short period of time. So, I'm gonna go on there and I'm gonna find the girl and then I'm gonna start out um, going 10 down. We're gonna keep it super simple tonight. I know we usually do 20, and I do the 20, 20, 20 messaging, um, where I send 20 of one message, 20 of the next message, and 20 of the, the message after that. However, we're just gonna do a Zoom right now that's simple so that people can really learn how to do a power hour first, um, since it's gonna be on YouTube. So I'm gonna put the message that you're going to put in there. If you are in the cash giveaway this month, I think almost every single person on here is. If you're not on the cash giveaway yet, then you want to think of what you can use um, besides this, or you can message for loyal customers while we're doing this. It's totally up to you and how you want to run your business. Um, I personally love host to post. It is like the number one way that I get loyal customers and distributors, but if you're not in it, then it's no big deal. You can message for loyal customers and I'll send you that as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out with this message. I'm going to put it in our group chat right now. Um, and you can use this. You want to change their name every single time. You definitely don't want to put Chelsea every time because they're going to be like, who's Chelsea? Um, but you can use this every single time and you can write, um, the message says, hey, Chelsea, my team and I just gave away $1,000 yesterday, and we are giving away another $150 on Monday. Um, this is something we do monthly to give back, of course. 
Um, do you want a free entry? Okay, super, super simple. You can say that we gave away $1,000 because you're on Christina Watts team. Every single one of us is on Christina Watts downline. Her downline just gave away $1,000. So we're not lying when we're saying that our team just gave away that $1,000, okay? Whether you participated in it or not, I personally did. Um, but I know a lot of people who had not participated in it and that's totally okay. So um, I'm sending this message out to 10 people right now. And then once I'm done, we're going with a second message. And I don't overthink it. I literally just go, if you are brand new and this is your first time messaging, you want to start right at the first person on your A's list. And you want to work your way 10 people down. If you come across someone on your friends list that are, is on your, what I like to call chicken shit list, where you're nervous to even message them, um, Either get that person off your Facebook or just do it. Just go five, four, three, two, one and do it because you never know who's going to be interested in this and who are you to judge whether someone could use this opportunity or not, or could use our product to completely change their life. You just never know what's going through other people's heads. Um, and I know if someone would have come across me and said, Oh, Chelsea works two jobs. So she don't need this. She don't need this money. I would have been so mad because I needed the money more than anything at the time that I was approached. Um, same with, you know, um, reaching out about products or something like that and saying, Oh, she doesn't need that. She already looks so good. You know, whatever. Do not be the judge of that for people because they are, they are there to make their own decisions. Oh, I found a reason why I couldn't find that girl was because, I was on somebody else's friend list. <laughs> okay. And it shouldn't take you that long to send out those messages. If you have to scroll all the way down to the bottom of your friends list, and if you're alphabetically messaging, then of course it will take you a little bit longer. Okay. And if you're alphabetically messaging, this is the cool part about it, okay? You don't even have to put their name in over and over and over again. You can literally just type it out like this. It doesn't matter if you've sent them messages before. This person specifically have sent so many messages. Um, but eventually she's going to answer or she's going to block me, right? And so um, I'm making sure that I'm building a relationship with her. But, um, I do it a lot in her, like in her comments and on her Facebook and things like that. Um, but she knows that I'm there and she's been interested once before. And like I always say, once interested, always interested. So I message literally until they either give me a solid no, which most people will not do. Um, or they just block you on Facebook or delete you or whatever the case may be. So that's one there. Two. I just switched names, so three. Four. Five, six, seven, and I'm literally right now, I'm just copy and pasting. It already has their name on it and everything. Um, I'm looking at the messages that I've sent them before because if I just sent them one at the beginning of this month for this I'm not sending it to them again And usually if I if I send them a message for host to post at the beginning of the month 
and I'm going through and I'm messaging for this message specifically, I'll switch it up and I will message them for a distributor and I'll send them a message saying, Hey, um, I am looking for a few people who want to make some extra cash from home. Do you know, do you know anybody who'd be interested? All right. If I've already sent them a host to post message and a distributor message, I send them a message about the products. And I say, hey, I just opened up a couple of spots for my hair growth challenge. Um, do you know anybody who'd be interested? I like to use referrals rather than messaging outright and saying, hey, do you want this? Um, that way, it gives them the opportunity not only to say yes, me, but it also gives them the opportunity to um, say, you know, yeah, I've got a couple of friends who might be interested in that. And that way you can open up another, you know, um, another spot for more potentials. What number was I on? I think it was on like six. I forgot now because I talked too much. <laughs> so seven. Make sure you're paying attention to the name too if you're sending out names. That's eight. If you're brand new and people are writing you back to, um, instead of just messaging them automatically, make sure you're screenshotting your responses and sending them to your leader. That's what your leader is there for, is to help you respond to them, um, to make sure that you're saying everything right and you're wording everything right and you're actually getting the help that you need. So that's nine. I gotta unfriend this person because um, they deleted their Facebook or something, I don't know. And this last one is 10, okay? And you see how like uh, my phone, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but my phone is literally blowing up. Like I'm getting message after message after message and I'm not answering those messages because I like to think of it as a one way street. Okay. And I've explained this to several people when it comes down to it. Um, when you are sending these messages and you're going outbound, outbound, outbound. Okay. If you start getting messages in, and you're trying to respond to those messages while you're getting those messages in, then it's going to make your brain all mush because you're going to be thinking about too much at once. Not only that, it's going to take time out of your focused power hour, whereas you can message these people back on your downtime. Like after you're, you're doing your power hour where you're completely focused, then you can start messaging them. And the reason why I compare it to a one-way street is because think about if you're going down a one-way street and you start having people come the other way, and you start letting every single person that is coming your way go by you, and you're pulling over every, every five seconds to let someone else go by you over and over and over again. It's gonna take you a pretty friggin' long time to get to the, the end of that road, right? And so that's why you wanna make sure that you're going this way first, and then you can let those people by and you can get going on um, responding to messages and stuff, okay? So we're gonna go ahead on message number two. This is my classic message. I send it to literally everyone. This is how I get so many distributors because I'm doing 20, 20, 20 messaging, which is sending 20 of the first message, 20 of the second, and 20 of the third message. And I'm doing this repetitively. Like my power hours sometimes are like, the full hour of just messaging, which you saw how fast I got done those, those 10 messages. Imagine how many you can get done within an hour. If you're, if you're going 20 messages, 20 messages, 20 messages, and you keep doing that over and over and over again. Okay. So this is where your work ethic comes in, um, and staying focused. So this is the next message. I'm going to put it in the group chat for you guys. Like I said, I still have people in my inbox. They're waiting for me to respond to them. I will respond to them afterwards. Um, 
Kyle, you might want to just switch it to the person's name, however you want to say it, because I know you've got some guys on there too. Um, so this message says, hey girl, do you know anyone who would want to make some extra cash? And then I've got a couple spaces and it says, if not, no biggie, just figured it couldn't hurt to ask, okay? I give them a way in, but I give them a way out. So it makes it more comfortable for them to be able to talk to me and tell me, okay, I want to get started, but I just don't know if it's for me right now. And that's what I'm looking for is for them to tell me that they're interested because we're in the business of planting seeds. Um, it's not just all about the, um, the end result of people saying yes, 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 right now. Um, you want to become obsessed with planting the seed. And if you're messaging these people and they're messaging you back saying, I'm interested, but not right now, or I'm interested, but I don't have the money right now. That's better than just saying no or ignoring you, right? So I always give them a way in and a, win, and a way out um, for my messages like that, as well as um, asking for re referrals. So saying, you know, do you know anyone versus saying, hey, do you want to make some cash? Um, that way it's kind of a soft approach to it instead of like harshly just asking them. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to start exactly where I left off. And I'm going to send that message to 10 people. So if you come across someone that you already asked this question, you're going to want to send them a host to post question, um, or you're going to want to send them a potential loyal customer question instead. So that's one person and we're going to go 10 down. That's two, and if you're consistently weaning out the people that you've been talking to um, and adding people at the same time, you're going to always find that you have tons of brand new people to talk to on your Facebook, um, and so that's why working this business consistently every single day is extremely, extremely important. And like I said, working an hour of your day, um, it, you know, eventually it adds up. Okay, so this person I'm deleting. And um, what I do is I go ahead, if I've sent a message to someone and I have sent them a message for um, becoming a distributor, that's usually the first one that I lead with. Um, and then I've sent them one about doing a host to post. And then I've sent them one for becoming a loyal customer. And then I've sent them one for another host to post. Um, then what I, and they have, they've ignored me completely the whole entire time. I do not keep them on my Facebook. I delete them off my Facebook because they can't even take two seconds to write me back. So, um, chances are they're not interested in any of those things. Um, they would at least write me back one of the times that they were interested in, in something. So what was I on? That was four. Oh, I am like so hot in this room. It's crazy. Okay, so that's five. That's six. That's seven. That's 
eight. That's nine. And that's 10, all right? So if you're doing it alphabetically messaging, you see how simple it is just to send the same exact message to every single person and you go 10, 10, 10 or 20, 20, 20, depending on what your power hour is looking like. And if you're doing this every single day, your potential list is gonna get nothing but bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. You're gonna have people consistently um, messaging you back, letting you know that they're interested or they're not interested or whatever, so on and so forth. So now we're gonna start with the third message. Um, and my third message is a message for potential loyal customers, okay? So I'm gonna put this in the group chat for you guys. And then I'm gonna read it out loud for those people watching on YouTube. This is a new one that I just literally came up with, so you'll be able to see that. Um, and I made it specifically for you know our, our chat tonight. I didn't really, um, I always do something along these lines, but it's not always the same exact message, okay? So this message that I have right here is, it says, hey Chelsea, I just started a new 12, 12 week program for anyone who wants to detox tone um, plus tighten or lose weight for the summer. Would you know anyone who would be serious about any of these, okay? So um, we're gonna go ahead and send this to 10 people. And like I said, if you come across someone and you're like, ooh, I don't wanna send them a message, um, that's, like I said, that's considered your chicken shit list. And so that's when we go five, four, three, two, one, and we just hold our breath and we do it um, because they're either with it or they're not. Um, and if someone's gonna treat you horribly or if someone's going to um or be rude to you or something like that they don't deserve to be a part of your life because you deserve better than that um and so it's totally okay to prospect and just ask so i've got one out so far Like I said, if you guys have any questions, drop them in the group chat um, because that's probably what I'm gonna do next. So we're almost done our power hour. That's two. I keep pasting it over it. I don't know why I keep doing that. That's three. That's four. That's five. Six. And I'm coming across a lot of people that I have not talked to yet because the last time that I went through my friends list and I did the same exact messaging, um, I deleted everyone that I had been messaging and I messaged like three or four times with no response. Um, and then I added a ton of people. In the meantime, I was going on adding sprees every single night. So it's like this one big revolving door, okay? Um, you're sending messages, you're, de you're deleting people, people are deleting you, but then you're also adding people and you're growing new friendships. And eventually your Facebook is going to be full of potentials, like 100% full of potentials, um, in your downline distributors. So in your current loyal customers, so you want to make sure that you're constantly feeding that wheel. So what was I on? Six. We might be doing one extra. <laughs> or I might be doing one extra. So that's seven. Eight. 
and that's eight. That's nine. That's 10. And we'll do one extra just for the fun of it. All right, so now that I'm done doing my, my 60 messages, or not 60 messages, this was only 30, but normally we do 60, okay? Um, I just go here and I literally just screenshot. So you, I can see where I left off on my alphabetical messaging. And the next time I do my next power hour, I know exactly where I'm starting. And I do this every single time. And if you post, okay, and then you go on your messaging spree, chances are you're going to get a lot more reactions on your post because your posts are going to be bumped up into those people's Facebooks that you're talking to, okay? So you always want to make sure you're posting and then you're going on your messaging spree. Um, and so even if you do a small power hour where you don't need to add to your story or you don't need to go on a huge adding spree, um, at least post first and then go on your messaging spree just to help you out, okay? Um, so I'm going to look in the chat, see if there's any questions. Facebook's Instagram. Um, Lisa, adding on both your Facebook story and Instagram story is so much easier. I can't even tell you because then you don't have to add them separately and you can run both um, platforms at the same time. And then Kelsey said, what do you say when someone says they don't? know anyone. I usually ask them if they'll do a host post for me. So I'll literally turn it around. If someone says, I don't know anybody say, okay, no worries. Thanks for getting back to me. Um, my team and I are having a free drying. We do it every single month. We have a cash giveaway. It's up to $150 right now. Do you want a free entry? That's exactly how you turn everything into a host to post. So the only ones that you can't really turn into a host post are those who ignore you. But if someone says no, or someone says that they don't know anybody, then you're going to turn into a host post no matter what. But just by saying, okay, no worries. Thank you for getting back to me. You're showing gratitude. And then you're saying, um, you're saying we have a free giveaway. Do you want in? And then that gets them to post for you because just because they don't actually think that they know anybody doesn't mean that there's not someone on your, their Facebook who could use this business or who could use these products. Okay. Um, I don't see any other questions in here. So I hope you guys took something away from this. You just sent out 30 messages. You just posted on Facebook. You just updated your story and you just added a ton of people. You see how much work you can get done within a short, short period of time. Um, and that's why these power hours are so important, especially for that person who is a hard worker who already has a job or two or maybe even three or has kids at home. Um, and it helps you stay focused too. I like to write down what I'm doing for my power hours. So if you are just doing a generic power hour, I usually do adding, posting, updating my story. Um, it can even be like one, adding one thing to your story. That's totally fine. Um, adding one thing in my story and then I go on a messaging screen. I go 20, 20, 20. And that's usually 60 messages um, on top of that. And so you're reaching out to 60 brand new people every single time that you do this. So imagine if you did um, one, you know, you could do one power hour if you're super, super busy, but if you're wanting to promote and you're wanting to go super fast in this business, the more of these little power hours that you do, um, the easier it's going to be for you, the faster things are going to go for you. And then um, squeezing in your power hours for like just strictly following up or just strictly messaging or just strictly adding is super, super important if you want to move really fast. Okay. So, um, that's it for our power out tonight. I hope you guys got something out of it and you see exactly how to run it. Um, be sure if you want to take notes on this or you want to check it out again or see what steps I was talking about and you missed half of it or something like that, you can go right onto YouTube. I'm going to upload it right now. So I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you guys have a great night.